Well, good afternoon. Welcome to the, I was going to say the bowels, <laughs> but that doesn't sound right. Doesn't this sound is the good. inner workings of the Tap and Growler in Eugene, Oregon, right down by the Fifth Street Public Market. And they are reopened. And this is really a cool story. Oh, my God. Look at all this beer. So this is the place to be. And um, what I love about this story is this was closed and a couple here in Eugene have a really cool story. They bought it. So here in a time of COVID, um, these crazy people are getting into a new line of work. And so you guys, if you don't know where the Tap and Growler is all about, this is like wine. It's like cider. And normally, look at this beer list. All those taps are full. But, you know, because of the reaction to COVID and everything going on, uh, things have had to change a little bit. So I'm going to come around there to talk to you, my man. Um, so you guys, when did you, for, oh, first of all, come up here, my dear. So tell me who you guys are. Uh, my name is Nick Larson, my wife, Michelle. We, uh, uh, when COVID shut down our basketball, we run Oregon Amateur Basketball. When COVID shut us down, we said, well, we need something else to get into. Found out the Tap and Growler is for sale, and we figured, why not? You know, this has always been our favorite spot. We love coming down here. Uh, we certainly have the time to invest in it. So we're fans first and business owners second. So you guys, I want to let you know this uh, show is sponsored by Elements Health Clubs here in the area. So there's a couple things we want to tell you. Um, you will be eligible to win a $50 gift card that Tap and Growler is giving away. How you're going to get that is Elements Health Club is going to give away a membership. Any, they'll give away a ton of memberships for a month. Anybody that goes in to get one of those memberships will qualify to win this gift card. So we'll put all the names in a hat and somebody's going to win that gift card. There, I got that out of the way. But Elements is a great place because they, they really, they let us do this once a week. Uh, focus on a local business because, I mean, don't you think, you're learning. Oh, absolutely, yeah. Business yeah. is the backbone. Backbone of Lane County, backbone of Oregon. And right now, this is the time where all biz businesses need to come together to stay afloat. So, chancy, risky thing? Uh, a little bit. A little bit. You know, we don't have a lot of uh, restaurant experience, but we put a great staff around us. You know, our kitchen manager just, has just been on point. Uh, Taylor knows what he's doing. He knows his way around the kitchen. He's uh, looked at the menu. We were a little bit nervous about the menu, kind of said, all right, we're not sure what we want to do. He came in and said, hey, this is working, this is working, this isn't working, this isn't working. Uh, redid about half the menu. And so now come, come on down. Our burrito option's great. Our bowls are great. We have a pizza option back there. So we've done a lot of good stuff with the menu, and the feedback has been extremely popular. So a lot of people look at this. Here, come over here. Come in here. Get in the light. So... <laughs> At a time like this, I'm going to have you scoot in a little yes. bit. At a time like this, I mean, you really, you either innovate or you die. And we had to, and we've mm -hmm. had to do that. You know, again, the food menu is something that, uh, as much as we love the beer here, uh, the food menu is something we struggled with. So we changed around the food menu. We have all online ordering right now, too. Uh, people come in, you, come, you have a seat, and we can maintain social distancing. If you're nervous about being around people, then we got a spot for you. You know, same time, if you have questions, you want help, our staff is here to help you. Our front end manager, uh, Megan, has been awesome revamping the bar staff. You know, beer sells itself. We have the best beer in town. We have the coldest beer in town. We so have. What changed on the menu? Do you can you tell me? You're no. bragging about something. You were bragging about something online the other day that looked really good. There were pictures. You're, you're, I mean, you guys are get, doing a good job of pushing this out there. It's the the beef brisket cheesesteak. That's the one. Ooh, Got it. Ooh, it's bring awesome. it in. Yeah, and then we, I've also had it with the burrito. It's really good. And so we brought in some of that red meat, and uh, that was some of the sandwiches and just larger portions, so you can come down for a meal. So you guys were Tap and Growler fans, and now you're Tap and Growler owners. Yes. We're still Tap and Growler fans. <laughs> but there's a lot more responsibility. There's just a lot more responsibility that goes with being a Tap and Growler fan now. But so it's not rewriting the wheel. I mean, so they've done a great job with it, and we're just trying to keep that going. So you are making it your own by changing the meal because obviously the menu because you were thinking something you weren't getting everything that you wanted when yeah, you wanted. A lot of the ideas that we had that we wanted to do actually the owners the previous owners were like this is what we would do and we're like yes that's what we would do they just didn't have the time to to put into it that that we obviously do now. <laughs> so what do you want this to become? We want it to stay what it always has been with the couple minor exceptions. You know, we're putting a bottle shop in. You know, as the hotels are coming out, uh, the, as the hotels are coming in, the delivery option, the to-go option is going to be a lot more popular. We're going to have beer to-go. Uh, OLCC has just kind of gone through and uh, taken some steps to allow that to become a permanent change. So when we look at what's going on with COVID and how that has changed the way uh, stuff is being delivered, one thing that's going to be nice is beer delivery looks like it's here to stay, which is going to be a huge benefit 
with the hotels around us, with the apartments around us. Oh my God, yeah, because you got the Gordon Hotel, you got the Fifth Street, the Inn at the Fifth, so you could be delivering beer to everybody around here. And that's yeah. something that's in the uh, that that's something that's in the works. You know, obviously we need to get up and going and getting the reopening underway. Uh, but once we have a higher a higher concentration of people down here, delivery will definitely be an option uh, within a mile or two radius. Now let's show them. I like these little divider things. Right. So you guys check out what they did. So this is kind of cool. So here's you know seats right here, so that you're protected. Then in between, they put this plexiglass. If you can see that, it's in mobile. And so if you're with a group of four. You can just move it, we separate like that. and so it keeps people away from, you know, just a, a distance that way. And then check out the booth. So if you guys have never been here, this is the coolest place. One of my favorite things about this place is the coat rack. It's all made from uh, it's railroad ties from the railroad out here, like that you can hear the train in the background. I think that's pretty creative, but Absolutely. Brian's pretty cool like that. Here's the other thing. Um, in between these booths, this is according to the governor's regulations, there need to be plexiglass, so they just put dividers in here. So you sit in here, you sit at your table, you order, and then they bring you your beer. And if you, the good thing about this too is if they have a problem, if you have a problem, you can go to the counter and get some help. Now, you're always looking in Eugene and Springfield for a place to eat and have a beer outside. This is the best place because the street is not noisy, but you're right in the heart of everything going on. And hold on, they're getting new space here. This is all going to become outdoor seating here too. So, so these just aren't here for decoration. These just aren't here for decoration. Give it a couple weeks, you can come down. We're going to double our outdoor seating, double the people we service out here. So you don't need to be indoors when the weather's nice. Come on, hang out outside. So you're getting you're getting a lot more place, aren't you? Because they already have this here. You guys, here's the exterior in case you want to know. That's a tap and growler. And the thing that's so great about this is it's like just in the heart of Eugene. And this really is where town is growing. Obviously, as we look behind you, there's your new customers. Absolutely. They'll be right there. Fifth Street or uh, in at the fifth. New uh, new hotel going up down there, the Gordon. And again, th those are all travelers. But again, we, we service our community first. We're here to serve our community and... So was there a day when you realized that the basketball was going to be a while coming back and you said to each other, um, if we're going to make a living, we're going to have to do something? Yeah, what day, what day did we get shut down? Hold on, hold on. March, Wait, March, March 9th. March, I think, yeah. Mar I, think, I think when uh, they shut down, when, when, when schools got closed, we said, you know what, basketball could be a while off. So, you know, we just had to try something else. And he was driving me insane at home. So I had to be like, hey, you need to find a business. I can't have both of us at home. <laughs> so. Is that different or just it, it was new or he always drive you crazy? <laughs> no. it, was, it was new. It was more stress. <laughs> no. was my, mom, my wife was the same way. It was like, yeah. get out of the house, yeah. get an office. That's why I'm right above you at MindWorks. Yeah, it's like, you need, to, you need, he's a worker. He, I mean, that's what a lot of business owners are. They're workers, they want to do it. And so when all of a sudden the control gets taken out of your hands, you're like, hey, let's go do something to figure this out for her. So even yeah, though we it talked about, and we had talked about, sorry to interrupt, we had talked about, uh, you know, going into a different industry, uh, going into the, the food service slash tap room industry. We've been talking about this for a while. COVID really presented the COVID and, you know, Colby really prevented the or presented the opportunity to shit or get off the pot. Pardon the term. No, that's I, I understand that. So this really, you know, I think it's so easy to look at all the bad stuff that we've that have happened from COVID because there are a lot of bad repercussions. But it also it, like you said, it gets you. It's either you renovate and innovate, you, or you're going to die. Exactly, and you know what better ser what what better industry to go into during COVID than the food service industry, right? So we're probably <laughs> we're probably a little bit crazy there, but you know this is a really popular place. It's a place that we want to see uh, going strong. It's one of our favorite places to eat. And when we found out it was for sale, as much as it was, hey, this is another opportunity for us. It was also an opportunity for us to say, hey, we're going to keep this place going. We're going to keep it afloat. We're going to keep it what it's always been. We're going to keep it what this community loves about it. We're just going to take its weaknesses and try to turn those into strengths. So ours? Yes. Yeah, we're in, the, we're in this together. I mean, we, we share ideas. That's what we do a lot with, you know, our time is we're, we're kind of a team. We have three daughters. And so uh, they're in, we're going to eight, seven, and six right now. And, uh, and so that's another thing we want to do is we want to appeal me. more to families. And so uh, we've expanded on the food menu for kids and kind of create more fun for, for the family to come down here. And they can grab kombucha, the kids can, the parents can grab a beer or wine or whatever they want. So, so what are the hours that you guys are open here? 
Uh, right now we are 3.30 to uh, 9 on the weekdays and then Friday, Saturday we are 11.30 till about 10 or 11. We're going to 11. We're going to 11. Last Friday. Yeah. Okay. So um, you guys, again, I want to remind you that they have given a $50 gift card uh, to the Elements Health Club. Uh, we're going to give a, do a giveaway. So I wanted to let you guys know that um, for you and your staff, the Elements would like to give you guys a, cor a corporate membership. They want, they want you to the, the special pricing. So it's not free, but you can get corporate membership pricing for all your employees. And there's a, they have one over here at Oakway. They have one at West Eugene, and they have one um, over in Springfield. So. Oh, that's awesome. awesome. So yeah. I'll give them your we'll information. Down, we'll down our sweat on. <laughs> <laughs> You'll need it for stress release, right? Well, pretty much. I mean, right now we're getting a good workout moving kegs, but that was, you know, when we came in, we had about 20 kegs we had to take, take off that had been open since March 7. You know, maybe that's a program we should start a gym class, like keg, keg raters or something. Keg carry, the keg carry. The keg carry, sponsored by Tap and Growler at your local health, at your Elements Health Club gym. Hey, guys, thank you. Thank you very much. I'm so glad I ran into you last week. Yeah, I was looking for something, and I needed a, a restaurant I wanted to feature. And I see, see these guys out here fixing the tables. I go, they don't look familiar to me. And I found out they're the new owners. So we're happy to do this for you. Be familiar to you. Well, you're very close. So, I'll, <laughs> yeah, when I come down to get my lunch, there wink, wink, wink. Yeah, yeah, I'll be here. See you winking. <laughs> All right, you guys, thank you so much. All right, you guys, so again, um, sponsored by... Elements Health Clubs, and you guys, if you go in and mention Rick Dancer or this show, you can get a month free at any of the gyms at Springfield, the Oakway, or the uh, West Eugene sponsors. Uh, they're all going to give away a, a membership. And for everybody that goes in and gets that free membership oh, this next week, uh, you will win a gift card. Uh, one person is going to be drawing. We're going to draw, and one person will win a $50 gift card to the Tap and Growler. We're giving away one this week to Ninkasi because we featured them last week, so we'll be announcing that later on. But um, Elements Health Clubs believes that business is the key to a community coming back. And so every week they're sponsoring through us a different business. And when I saw these two people willing to risk everything to open up a, a new landmark in town, I thought that was a pretty good story to bring to you. All right, I'm Rick Dancer. We got a full line of shows this week, so we'll, uh, we'll be seeing you throughout the week. Hey, man, see you later. All right, have a good day. Share this on your page so other people know what's going on and so we can help them to be really successful with the doing. All right, see you later.